Welcome, this is Minecraft Let's Play How To Episode 24. I'm Punishments. And today we are going to be working on making a villager crop farm. And this certain this particular villager crop farm is stackable. So you can do multiples on top of each other. So as long as you have vertical space, you can just keep making them. Uh there's going to be a point to which your hoppers won't be able to move your items fast enough so I wouldn't go too high I went four high with uh, each of the crops like you know your wheat potatoes carrots and beetroots and then I did a pumpkin watermelon farm on top of that and moved it all down to the same chest um, it was kind of backed up I usually had to run a composter underneath that chest so when it did fill up I could just turn it on and compost it down to clear the backlog of items because these once they do start working just take them a little while to get going they uh, they produce quite a bit especially if you're in the area a lot which this is gonna be right in our main area so it should be pretty much loaded in constantly all right, let's get my camera fixed. Let's head down this way. As you can see, I've already built the first two layers. Nothing too special. You build your crop farm. Got my water source in the middle. Got my composter on top for the farmer. Got my light sources in the corners, one on top of the composter so the farmer can't really use it. Now, you'll see you got this guy in the corner here. How this farm works, let's get inside here. Now, as long as there's trap doors here, the farmer can't get out. That's, not, that's just kind of my access. This farmer will get try to feed this guy because this guy's a new villager. He's never been given food or anything. I have, as you can see, this is, villager breeder's been moved. Clear over there. I'll show you that in a little bit. Had to rearrange a lot of stuff so it took me a little while to get things sorted and up and running again one of my videos quite late but uh, this guy in the corner hasn't been given any food or anything so what this farmer is going to be doing he'll be harvesting crops as they go you know that's just what they do they mature he person he gets them in his inventory well I got his composter block so hopefully he won't be able to use it but this guy over here is basically hungry because he's never been given food. So this farmer, hopefully, once everything starts working right, will throw him food. Well, I got hoppers right here. So when he does try to throw him food, the hoppers are going to catch the food and put it in the chest. That's how this works. So whenever you do this guy in the corner, I always give him this job so he's always linked to it. Uh, weather doesn't affect uh Fletcher's. At some point I hopefully this farmer will start throwing him food. And that'll be our carrot layer, as you can see. Up here we got a potato layer. Kind of got things starting to grow and stuff like that. I wanted to get things kind of rolling. Got my little compartment for my next guy over here. So what we what I need to do Let's go ahead and plan out how I want to do my train tracks. That's how I'm bringing them over. So that's my entrance hole for my farmer. Well, go ahead and do this. Put I forgot to crouch. <laughs> Stop the dirt block there. Dirt block there. So now we got our little up in. Got our power rails over here. Go ahead and turn the corner. Turn the corner. Um, yeah, yeah. A couple power rails there. Let's do that now. When the farmer or the yeah, he'll be a farmer before I bring him over. I set their position over there at the villager breeder. I'll show you that in a little bit here. But the train car will come in, he'll land in here, and I'll kind of push him in a little bit further without any help, you know, so I don't mess up the field. Get him over here. 
get my trap door installed which probably need to grab out of my chest here um it's not going to match the one down below but it's what i got on me right now so that's what i'm going to use i can change it later trap door in right there he'll still go in in the mine cart that won't affect it but he won't be able to get back out so now like i said up here we can do it again and we just go up No big deal. Now, as you can see, I've been marking out my chunks. I know it's kind of ugly, but for right now, this helps me lay out things. I don't mind it. It's my world. That's how I'll do it. Uh, let's go ahead and put a power torch right there. There we go. So zip. It will zip right in there. Now, in order to get this other one. We will just, that's the entrance there, boom, boom, do the same thing here, see, probably won't have to do anything but leave those there, just attach it, break these off once we get, we get the farmer in first usually, then we just go ahead and clean these up, attach the rails over here, and then I'll do the next guy that goes here, so on and so forth. Pretty simple once you get your villager breeder set up and stuff like that. Let's see, uh, hasn't started working yet. Hopefully, there's no updates that have changed this to where it doesn't work anymore. Um, it's not my idea. I got my I got the design for this from Silent Whisper, kind of like I got the design for the chakra farm. Same person. I will link that in the description so you guys can go watch the tutorial. He probably does a heck of a lot better job just explaining it than me. Now this is my the exit point for my villager breeder. Go ahead and put a minecart there so it's there. It's not, we're not going to use it right now. But I moved it over 120 blocks away from the other villagers that are in my base. I made sure to put the beds over here to where nobody over there kind of linked to these. Trying to keep these guys from linking to the villagers in the crop farm and forcing this into a double village to where all these guys share beds to where I, I don't have to put down 50 beds in order to get another villager. So that's what you're going to want to watch with your beds and deal with that. It is kind of a headache on bedrock. Uh, I've watched Java videos of people, and it seems to be a little bit easier on that Java. But I've never played Java, so I can't really comment to that. Especially, I've just tell you what I've noticed watching other people play Java. So as you can see, I got my rail system. It goes from here all the way over there. Uh, like I said, it took me a little while to set this up. So I had to move the villager breeder over here. Get this area all lit up to where there's no mobs. So I can stand over here and not have to worry about the creepers dropping on my head or anything. Lit up all that. Went up the mountain over there in those trees. Yeah, this is kind of pretty much all lit up. I can stand over here for a while. So, just basically just got to put down a bed. I do it over here just so you want to keep an eye on it. Make sure no particles show up on it when you put it down. I didn't see anything, so hopefully these guys will realize there's a third bed and breed a baby villager. Of course, just like before, it'll fall down into the water thing. Now down here, you'll see, like I said, it only goes so many blocks before ice down all the way through there. Then I put a couple buttons and I'll water block up top so it kind of keeps pushing the water this way it turns at the end gets the whatever comes out should land up end up in this cart uh, they might not be a they might not want to do this at night it's a problem 
Go ahead, sleep. So like I said, just positioning your village breeder out away from everything, making it safe to be around it. Make sure you're up. Oh, see, there they go. Just a certain time of day, villagers don't like to do things, so no big deal. They should kick out a baby villager. As you can see, we're with the spruce tree, so it's a taiga. Baby's going to come out with a taiga outfit, even though these guys are plains villagers. Or just regular villagers, whatever you call them. But he walks in there because he thinks the trap doors are a solid block, and then, then he keeps going. Now... See if he made it through. As you can see, yeah, it bounced him up into the top. Now he's go ahead, and go down, and there he is. So as you can see, I put a button here, a button here, put the water here, and it's forcing this way. Now there is a time or two the villager will be the baby villager will just stand on this ice block. Might have come down here nudging through, but. This has worked pretty good for me so far. Really don't have a whole lot of trouble with it, so I don't mess with it too much. And if it works, don't try and fix it. <laughs> yes. So what I usually do is I'll wait for this guy to grow up. It takes about 20 minutes or so. And like I said, we'll do the farmer villager next. I'll put this composter here. Hopefully when he grows up, he'll link to this. Then I'll go ahead and do one trade with him to lock him in, break this, then I'll send this cart on down. Now, before I do anything else, what I'd like to do is pick up that bed I put down. Because basically, where you want him to not link to a bed anymore until we get him. Like I said, this takes a while. Uh, I've showed you this probably in other videos. Wait for him to grow up, get him his job, um, make sure there's no other workstations in the area. This is kind of why I moved this over here. Because if you remember right, we put down 25, 20, 20 or 25 cauldrons over there. Cauldrons are workstations, so if we try to make a villager over there, they're probably going to try and link to it. There was also four smokers. There was a uh, blast furnace inside the base. Those are also workstations, so we could try and connect with the four smokers, the 25 cauldrons, the blast furnace. Uh, there was a composter underneath the pumpkin melon farm. I went ahead and took that out, so when they're going over in the mine cart, they don't, when they go buy it, they don't link to it while they're going by in the mine cart, which they have been known to do, especially when I'm bringing, moving them around in boats, they've done it. I've seen them do it in mine carts too, so... Uh, make their path clear if you haven't linked them. Now, if they are other composters on the way over there, they might try to link to those. So, got to be careful of that too. But hopefully we won't have to fight that too much. Um, it's possible he can link to the other composter that the other farmer already has. Been known to happen. But he should still act like a farmer. And since he doesn't have ac access to the composter, he should should still work normally uh never really have much problem with it. i'll go ahead and put the composter in there with him now a lot of times when you save and exit come back into the game uh, a lot of these villagers will connect properly to where you've put stuff uh, not all the time sometimes it's just a headache but i have had that happen to where i've had to log out and log back in to get the villagers to link properly the things that i will to the workstations I've wanted them to link to. Um, the other thing is, if they're acting all erratic over here, uh, the guy's running around, like a man with his head on fire, you know what I'm talking about. These villagers, zip, 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 zip. They're just, they're frantic, basically. Um, you may have to throw down a bed over here, just for a short time. Uh, they don't have to link to the bed, especially. They just, they just got to know there's a village over here. Because right now, all these villagers over here don't have their beds. So I've picked them up. You know, the ones inside, inside our base. The only bed over here is mine. Um, I've never really seen anybody connect to it because it's below them. Quite a few blocks down that staircase. 
So these guys may not realize this is a village, so you just kind of pop down a bed close to them. Doesn't matter who really links to it, it just becomes the center of the village. These guys settle down like they have. This guy, when I first brought him over, was frantic. So I did have that issue until I popped down a bed. He calmed down. He went to harvesting crops. I'm not really sure. Uh, he hasn't thrown any food yet, and he's not going to in the rain. Well, maybe. I know we won't harvest crops in the rain, because farmers in the rain, they just basically don't do anything. They just stand around, so... Don't think your farmer's broke if it's raining. It's just what they do. They stop working until it stops raining. So I'll do the same thing. Um, I don't think there's any real reason for you guys to have to watch this boring video of me moving villagers and waiting for them to grow up and a bunch of cuts. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. Now you can make this field as big as this white square. You can put the glass out here on top of this white square because the outside edge of the white square is the chunk border. So, out here, so you can put your glass out here. You can make this field much bigger. That's fine. You just got to make sure you position your water inside there so it waters all the plots. Um, keep your villagers inside that square. You'll have a lot less issues. Um, I have made them cross the chunk border before, but I they have a tendency to lose a villager every once in a great while. Uh, but honestly, you make it just the size of the square, it's probably too big. Uh, I went with a, just a pretty normal field inside there. You know, center, four, 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 you know. Kind of, I'm not even sure it's that big. I may have went even smaller. Uh, no, I think it's four by four by four. Yeah, it's nine by nine. We count four and four that's eight plus your center water block that's nine so it's nine by nine and then you're going to lose a little bit of a field with this guy in the corner but that's fine like i said this will produce plenty once he gets rolling um if he doesn't start throwing food over here i may have to do some more with the beds but i'll do that after i get all the villagers over here and uh, i'm not having to deal with uh that And again, there may have been an update that changed this. I hope not, because this is a very good way to get villagers, you know, get uh, potatoes and carrots. You can do it with beetroots. Now with wheat, he will take the, the farmer will take the wheat and turn it into bread before he throws it to the villager in the corner. So it'll become a bread farm. It won't be a wheat farm. So uh, keep that in mind. But carrots, potatoes. Works excellent for, uh, I don't really have a use for beetroots. I've never been a big beetroot person. Uh, other people might be different. That's fine. But you get a lot of seeds with beetroots too. So, that can cause other issues. Filling up your inventory, filling up your farmer's inventory with seeds. Uh, I have to give him access to his composter so he can get rid of the seeds. And then he might still compost the crops he's old. You never know. I've seen these things work Odd things. Odd things always happen in these games for some reason. Just, but chalk it up to that's just the way it is. Um, I've always found Minecraft has always been pretty decent with updates. There's still bugs and stuff. They try to get rid of the big ones. Uh, there's a lot of small ones that are probably still around that they've probably just adopted as game mechanics by at this point, but yeah, if you uh, go to Silent Whispers Path, he does bug rock. He explains a lot of the glitches. New updates come out. He'll explain if any new updates have changed things. Um, I have not been keeping up with that, unfortunately, lately. <coughs> but that's due to my work schedule at the moment. We got a lot of stuff going on at my real real life job, so kind of difficult to keep up with you know setting up for your videos filming your videos you know, getting all your stuff set up um i'm also testing out other games i want to try and do videos on and i'm also try looking into streaming i am not streaming as of yet uh that will be down the road uh, probably next year more than likely it's pretty late in the year now to be worrying about it uh 
I got children, got the holidays coming up, got to deal with that. So, I mean, I still got my priorities. Um, I am trying to get better at getting more videos out on time. Um, there's been a few lulls in there. I think one when I was sick. This time, I just had a lot of stuff to move around. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the link to Silent Whispers video on the Villager Crop Farm. And there, he'll, he's got the rates in there and all kinds of information on it. So, good video to check out. Uh, he's got a lot of good videos to check out. So, if you want to learn more about a lot of stuff, check out his videos. That's where I learned a lot of stuff, especially for Bedrock Edition. Like I said, this is pretty easy. They're all pointing that into that chest. So that one points there, 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 and in the chest. And that guy stands over there. So when he throws things, boom, see? Guarantee that's in the chest. That's how it works. Just got to make sure the villager you put in here is not an existing villager. It's a new villager that has not had any food given to him. That way he appears hungry to the farmer villager. And the farm villager wants to throw him food. That's the basic mechanic of the. Hopefully it still works. Uh, like I said, I haven't been keeping up. And there has been recent updates. Minecraft. Pretty uh, reliable with putting out regular updates. Some like, some not. But that's just the way it's going to be. Everybody's going to like everything. Um, nighttime raining. Like I said, it's raining. Don't count on your farmers doing anything. They'll stand there. So if you got a world with a lot of rain, you're going to have trouble with this farm. But you don't need a lot of this. You don't need this farm to run all the time. It's it's It produces quite a bit once it gets rolling. Like I said, I may have to put some beds over here to get these guys to operate right. This guy's pretty calm. This guy's kind of stuck there, so can't really tell, but I I remember him linking to his station, so that's good. But if they're not working right, don't be scared to slap a bed down on the outside here to get them to link. Maybe they'll start behaving better. But like I said, I've still got more villagers to move in here to get this other layer of work in. This will take care of my carrots and potatoes. That's really all I need. I really don't even need that, but... Just in case I feel like doing something with potatoes and carrots, I have some. I have a good supply. Just like this. I mean, if we need it, we just come and get it. I got them growing over here too, but I can take this out. Now that, like I said, we got the wheat farm up there that's kind of an automatic harvest. We're going to have the automatic carrots, automatic potatoes. Now the beetroots, I don't really need. I'll just put these into a chest, and if I need to grow more, I'll grow more, but usually I don't need many beet roots. Now, I've been using this while I've been in the area, and as you can see, we've built up quite a bit of fuel for our automatic kelp farm. Now, we also have a full chest of lava, so now I can start putting lava over here and use these kelp blocks for something else if I wanted to. And... So we got 25 more. Just need to take the buckets out and pick all this stuff up. Like I said, these are workstations, so trying to do stuff with villagers around this and lock them to a certain station kind of hard because they will pick up on these quick. Same with these. So, like I said, be wary of where you're, where you're doing your villagers, uh, what you're trying to link to, what they can link to. I mean, villagers are very overpowered, but they can also be a very big headache dealing with them and getting them to do what you want them to do in a tight area. Uh, now, if you want to spread them out, you can spread them out. That's fine, too. But I try to keep them to where they're kind of loaded in when I'm at my base. That way, if I go AFK around my bed area, stuff around me still happening. Still getting stuff. Uh, this will be my next farmer villager, of course, and so on and so forth. I'll make another one after that. 
So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found this informative. Don't forget to check out Silent Whispers tutorial on this farm in the description. I will make sure I get that link because I do not want to take credit for anybody else's work. I'm not sure if this was his design or somebody else's. I'm sure in his video he will probably cover it. He got it from somewhere else because he is also very good about that. Uh, I hope you found this informative. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, share, subscribe, share, uh, comment, sorry. That would really help me out. And I will see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.